Okay, we're going to explain our dyno controller here for like a water break dyno. We've got a little, our bench dyno here is a little clone motor, a positive displacement pump, and then by restricting the outlet of the pump with this valve, computer control valve, we put different loads on the motor. Here we got our little uh, prototype valve. If you buy something from us, it'll look a lot cleaner than this. And you can see by turning this knob here, we can open and close the valve and put different load on the motor. This part is a power control module. It takes a fair amount of amps to run this. 5 amp, 12, 5 amp, 12 volt power supply. DC volts goes into here. This is our control unit. This is what's actually taking the signal from the computer and from some sensors and determines how much power this thing should do, give out to this valve. So here's the, the brains of the controller right here. And you can see there's a little screen there, and then you probably can't see it, but the display is changing as you change this. If you've got a control dyno system, you're going to need a data mite to log the data. It doesn't do any control, but it just records everything. And obviously, you need a computer. So in the next movie, we'll explain how all this works together.